Hi all, I thought I would do a little video on some work that's about to be undertaken on the 595. Um, I was out using it, <coughs> say about last week, and um, we got halfway down the road from leaving the workshop, about, you know, about 100 yards, and then suddenly the rear brakes came on, just locked straight on, and of course I came to a, a grinding halt quite quickly. Um, of course, I was on the side of the road, so I needed to um, get out, out of the way quickly. So I obviously, you know, did what I could, disconnected the brake lines that supplied the oil to the um, slave cylinders at the bottom on the brakes, the rear axle. But um, now we're back in the workshop, got back fine, got the brakes off and drove it back steady. But now we're coming to the point now we want to know what went wrong. So I'm going to show you why what are the, we, uh, at the moment we think is wrong and of course at the moment we've come to the conclusion that the master cylinders have failed these you know as you can see they they look you know they're showing their age you know but um the seals are probably gone as well so i take that apart i'll show you all that apart so all the seals and what the condition of the cylinders are like um because as I say, I've removed one brake pipe, but unfortunately the other one, the other union snapped off, you know, corroded up. And of course this one came off fine, released the pressure on that, because um, I thought that was, you know, by the tire marks on the road, you know, the little skids, that that was the one that was causing the problem. And of course I got it to move until I got it back into the outside, back outside the workshop, and then they locked up again. So, and of course the other time, this time it was the left hand side, which is this brake pipe here with the broken union. And of course I thought, well, <clears throat> it seems to be blocked up at the end, like silicon rubber. So maybe perhaps something from the um, mass cylinder seals. I don't quite know yet. So I cut the pipe away and of course cut it about two mil down. Again, it's still so solid up with rubber. So I cut it a bit further down and of course I then, then of course you could see, you know, the oil under a bit of pressure just, you know, hiss out. And of course that brake then came off free. And of course they then managed to manoeuvre it into the workshop. So evidently we've had, always had one dodgy brake on the left. The right hand brake, which is this one here, has always, you know, worked fine, you know. But this one's always been a little bit, you know, a bit... Yeah, dead some, some days gone the next so we just got to work out what's going on so of course i'm thinking that this mass cylinder so the right one here because you've got two individual obviously for the because you've got independent brakes on these tractors this one may be not at fault it may have just been you know me you know having a funny moment thinking that was the one that had you know got that side the right side was the one with the brake on but in actual fact it seems more like the left one is and um, so the only way to find out is to completely, you know, split them all out. I've taken the four bolts off of the housing. You can see there, it's a <coughs> steel housing. And of course, you then just pull them straight out. And of course, it leaves the push rods in, you know, on the back of the brake pedals, which you can see through the cab there. And um, <coughs> of course, you can see a little bit of wear on there. Just a little slight marking there. More on this side than is on that side. But overall in pretty good shape so far so and there's not too much play on there and of course the pedals are all free so the pedals didn't jam down or anything so it's purely at the moment hydraulic fault but we just got to sort it out so next job will be to take all the um all the mass cylinders apart as i said before but looking you know just a quick look you know it, it don't look it looks clean in there you know not too corroded because I've seen a number of them where you get heavy corrosion in here from the water that eventually comes in, you know, into the brake fluid and then begins to corrode them all up. So the next stage is get it on the bench, strip all the seals out. So I'll show you that when it's all apart and um, I will make another video. So I'll see you in the next video, but I'll probably just, you know, stitch them all together just to make it a lot easier. So see you in a minute. Bye.